Welcome back. So this is the second communication mistake which we all do when we meet new people. We keep a closed mind when we meet new people. We all work in culturally diverse workplaces today which are spanning continents and time zones. What we can do is to avoid stereotyping clients and colleagues by assuming based on just a few information pieces about them. We must listen to them and get to know them well. And then we can absorb those pieces of information and communication to understand each person's needs and expectations well. Of course, there's nothing more dangerous than having a closed mind. Let me tell you about this through a couple of situations. Let's assume you are on a call with a new team member who's based in New York. Now, both of you are discussing about an important presentation which needs to be submitted to a very important client in the next couple of hours. But both of you differ on two points which must be included or must not be included in the presentation. Now, your new team member suggests an option he or she feels won't work well. There are three options. You can outrightly reject and adamantly say no, what you are saying doesn't make sense and what I'm saying must be included in the presentation. That's one way to look at it. Second is you can walk the path logically with your team member and then arrive at your options or your solutions that you're offering, which must be included in the presentation. Or an even better option would be that let's have a solution which should benefit both the organization and you know the client. So you should listen to her viewpoint. You may get a new insight and this will add to your own learning. So that way you not only develop a rapport with your new team member who's based in New York, but you're also able to arrive at a consensus and you will be able to give the best solution possible to your client. Let's look at another situation. Let's assume you have enough funds to invest. Now your banker suggests that you invest in some market linked investment options, which are low risk, but high return as compared to a regular fixed deposit. You feel that you know more and counter suggest the banker that she must also invest in fixed deposits. Well, you're not open to listening to what the banker is trying to tell you. In the meantime, your friend calls you and shares how he made an additional 30% returns by investing in the same market link investment options and became more inclined to such investments in the future. Now what happens? Just because your friend gave you a call and gave you this information that he or she has got this much return by investing in that market instrument, all of a sudden, you may start looking at it differently. But had your friend not called you, you would have simply outrightly rejected the proposal which was offered by this particular banker. But did you ever give it a thought that why don't I go ahead and calculate what are my risks, what are the returns, and what is the period of investment for this particular investment? Well, this is where we make the second mistake. We keep a close mind when meeting new people. There are certain ideas which some new people may suggest, which may need a lot of thinking. And then, you know, whether you should go ahead with that idea or not, it totally depends on you. But as a good suggestion is that whenever you're meeting new people, keep an open mind to learn more about them. You never know, you may end up learning more than you give them in terms of their learning. Let's see each other in the next video.